Now this is a bigger thing than I would normally work on, but it was um, belonged to one of my family, and she said, "No, it's not working anymore. It's not chucking out any heat." So upon plugging it in, I discovered what I think is wrong with it. It's pretty straightforward actually, but it's just interesting to note. You've seen these Dyson heaters; they're quite expensive. Oh, it's got a nice little scratch on the side. Look, blows the air through there and uses the Bernoulli effect to mix it all up, and it's got a powerful fanny motor in the bottom and some bullshit and some temperature control. So it's just a jazzed-up uh, room heater. I don't particularly like them much because they're, as a heater they're actually pretty noisy. They do seem to spread the, the air around a lot but they're better as a, a cold blower fan in the winter. So um, I actually bought one of these based on the fact my sister had one and um, kind of regretting it. For the money it looks stylish but noisy. Yeah, one of those lazy ones with the old type propeller fan. Do you remember those? They're just a blowing a nice gentle warm breeze on you. But never mind, that's a uh, I suppose that's a question of personal taste. But what's wrong with this one is, I'm pretty convinced that it's just completely blocked up. If I look inside all these little holes, they put these tiny weeny holes in it, and it shows in the instruction hoovering these holes, having a hole hoover. Yeah, and um, this is what, what we've got. If you look in these tiny weeny holes, if I can find a pair of tweezers with a pointy point on, I've taken a SIM card out of a mobile phone a minute ago, that's where they've gone. Yeah, so, can you see that? It looks pretty fluffy, doesn't it? It's like a complete... Oh, oh, dead skin cells. Oh, I should do this outside. Yeah, so they've made a tapered hole, so they've tapered the hole, so their feeling is, oh well, it won't go through the fluff. Eventually, the holes, but these holes are just completely blocked up with fluff. Oh, nasty. Now, I could take an airline to it and, uh, and blow it out, I suppose. Just have a whole deluge of stuff. I suppose if I plug it in outside, it won't be a problem. Or I could strip it down and stick it in the dishwasher. That would be the healthy option. Ooh, that's nasty now. Don't like it at all. Yeah, it's kind of crispy. I don't know what they had in their house, but they've obviously got eaten a lot of crisps. But anyway, it's all blocked up. So you've got this bottom half. Let's zoom back out again so you can see. It's a really boring video. I'm sorry about this, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Is If I just turn her over like that, you can see the base of her. And then you've got controls on the front. There are various models of this, but they're pretty much the same. If you push that back, you can see these screws. One, two, three. And then if I, push, if I flip it over and push it back the other way, that's the tilt and swivel. There seems to be two more, right? So I'm just going to um, pause for a moment and take those, um, those screws out and see whether that comes apart. Let's go. The screws are removed. And let's see if she comes open or not. Ooh. Yep. Oh dear, oh dear, that's a dusty mess in there. Look at that. Look at that. Jesus. That is not nice. There's the high speed fanny thing in there, look. So it's all pretty dusty. So let me see if I can see. So we've got some kind of controller and there's cables going upstairs to do something. Power the motor presumably. So it's not going to cleanly and easily come apart. I shall have a closer look and get back to you. So we're out on the bench at the moment, and um, yeah, I'm just about to blow this out with the with the air gun. Basically, just a normal 120 psi air gun. Now, um, I do know from experience that just a quick tip: I'm going to blow it from the inside out because these holes are tapered. And I'm, I'll blow from the inside out, so I'll get it as much as I can inside to blow the stuff out the holes and see what progress I can make. But as you are aware, up in there, you can just see it, here's the fan. And if you blow this air gun directly at the fan, like that, the, um, the rotational speed will be incredible. If you think those fan blades are pitched about 30 degrees, it has to move twice as fast rotationally as the direct forward direction of the air blast, or over twice as fast 
So how a sailing ship sails faster than the actual wind speed by cutting across the wind, you get high velocity. And I know from experience, and I've seen people do it as well, that if you let that run up, it'll whistle like a fire um, alarm, one of those sirens going off, and it gets faster and faster, and then the blades shatter. And this happens on computers, on hair dryers, anything with the blow out with the fanning. Before you let the air go onto the fan, give it a gentle blow by all means, but then hold it still while you blow it. Otherwise, you're likely to shatter the blades or ruin the bearings. It really does get up to a very high speed with a 100 PSA I air blast. All right. So yeah, let's um, let's give it a blow out. Yeah, that's after blowing out with an airline, so you can see it's blown out some of them, but there's still some residue in the hole, so I'm going to have to try. I think the next thing I'm going to try is just stamping a brush in there just to loosen off any compacted stuff and see if that helps, and then blow it again. Now, that didn't work either, so now I'm uh, just putting a little bit of uh, kitchen cleaner on and just working it in with a brush. And I'll try this on one panel, work it in with the brush, let it soak for a while, and then when you blast it from the inside with the air gun, you can all popping out like little missiles, little plugs of um, fluff and stuff fly out and leave the hole unblocked. So that's what I'm going to do. Let them soak for a while. Do application, stamp away with this, let it soak, and then blow it with the wipe it off afterwards. Get that with the exercise. You don't really want the um, kitchen cleaner going inside, so blow it in from the inside out, and they come out like a fly out like little plugs. You can hear them all popping out. Very satisfying indeed. So that's the one method I'm going to use, and I'll uh, put it back together in a minute when I've finished blowing it out. There you go, watch this. So that's um, after the clean has been put in. You can see the seal the holes down there. I'm just going to stay focused. Focus you, focusing thing. There you go, you can see it now. Watch this. So I'm in the light. Why does it do that? Oh, I see. It's exposure is the problem. Pretty horrific what you breathe, isn't it? It's incredible. Um, yeah, so she's all cleaned out. Two or three goes at it actually. It was very um, persistent, some of the bits. It was almost like, I don't know, something from the air, condensation and a solvents or something, but tiny little hard plugs of um, fluff and presumably dead skin cells, to be honest. It's probably the worst job. I think I'd rather clean out my, my overweight grandmother's tummy button for fluff than this thing. But down in there is the fan. You can't really see it very well, but there is a fan and an impeller. Let's see if we can just get that. There it is. There she blows. Um, amazing amount of... Um, it's got an outer band on that fan. And it's, of course it catches. And on the inside edges of that, it was compacted, almost blocked up. Very hard lumps had to be picked out one by one. So it's all clean. I'm going to stick it back together and we'll see if she works. Well, there she's back together. And... Um, now I'm thinking the one we've got already, the black one must be blocked up as well because this is blowing so much better now it's been cleaned out. I mean it's incredible and it's much better than the other one we have so I wonder if our other unit has gone the same way actually. So it's quite a struggle to unblock all those horrible little holes but we did it and cleaned underneath and now she's working fine. I think it's warmer than 17 in here but it's still blowing out warm air so is that working on one of the thermostat? Because it doesn't... Oh, that's the room temperature, isn't it? Rather than the set temperature. Anyway, I'll let you know. But yeah, as far as blowing is concerned, she is. She's all the other junk on the floor in my office, ready to be repaired. It's not a custom unit. Don't worry. Um, yeah, so... Wow, it's toasty in here. Heats the place up a treat, actually. Not too noisy either. So I'm wondering... I'm going to check the other one. And if there's anything... Um, wrong with the other one. I'm thinking it's probably blocked as well because it's not blowing as well as this one and it's a newer unit than this. But yeah, it sits down in the corner nicely next to my shredder between my storage cupboard. Does a good job. So anyway, if you um, if you feel like being kind to me, just subscribe down there on that button. That would be much appreciated. But anyway, I hope you find that interesting if you want to clean your Dyson out or just want to see the heater itself.